people. It hurt a lot. So that little, that, that toe, the big toe, was killing my entire body. I hated it. In that same sense, when you lie to one another, or when we lie to each other, you are bringing that pain to the body. And that's not how it ought to be. In verse 25, oh, I'm sorry. In verse 26 and 27, it says this. Be angry, and yet do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not give the devil an opportunity. It says, in your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Do not give the devil a foothold. And what Paul is actually doing here is he's actually quoting a psalm of David. And in Psalm 4.4, 4, it says, Tremble and do not sin. When you are on your bed, search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of righteous and trust in the Lord. So in its full context, he's saying, you know, don't act on that anger. Instead, when you're in your beds, search your heart. Be silent. Instead of reacting right away, let's think about it. Breathe a while. Let's fix it. And then we can confront it before the night's over. It says... In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. And like I said, this gets confusing sometimes because in verse 31, you don't have to turn to that. Verse 31, it tells us to put off anger. But what Paul is dealing with right here specifically is the type of anger that God has. See, God hates sin. So as Christians, as imitators of God, as his children, we too ought to hate sin. But we do the opposite thing sometimes, right? And we, we tend to run towards sin when we ought to be running away from it. And we, we, we tend to embrace these, these little things that have enslaved us. You know, the little sins that we, we just can't get rid of. We can't just push away. And we let those things just take a stronghold of our lives, in our lives. A foothold in our lives. And so it's important for, to, to hate what God hates. And you know, th some things that I thought of is, is when innocent people are victimized. Or, or when innocent life is taken. Or when the truth of the gospel is, is grossly, grossly just distorted. You know, God hates these things. And so, in a sense, we shouldn't be apathetic to those things. We shouldn't be apathetic to, 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 to sin, especially in our church, especially the sins that go down in here. We shouldn't just let it slide all the time. 